All right, you guys, I'm so excited for tonight because Miss Savannah Sparks just promoted to Ambassador Diamond. Well, I was going to say like last week, but it's also like almost the end of April already. So <laughs> it's not last week, but she promoted to Ambassador Diamond last month, which is incredible. And I'm just so excited for you guys to hear her story. Um, I do have a couple of questions written out, but if there's anything that you hear her saying that you're like, oh, I want her to touch more on that, or I want to go more in detail on that. Put it in the chat and we'll make sure to get those questions asked. So Savannah, if you want to just share a little bit about your story, kind of when you started, what your life was like before, a little bit about your journey, whatever you want to share. So I just unmuted you. We should be good. Maybe. Okay. Hey guys, Savannah Sparks. And honestly, Courtney, I totally forgot again, because I thought it was last week and then I didn't hear from you all day. So I'm like, Thursday, my team trainings are on Thursday night, so I just didn't put it together. But anyways, guys, I am going to pour into you for the next 30 minutes and just um, answer your questions and tell you a little bit more about me and my journey to ambassador. So I have been in the company for um, six years now, and I found the business through Facebook. Um, my mentor is Christy Christensen. She's number two in the company. Um, and at the time when she found me, she was only a diamond. So um, just to kind of put that into perspective, you know, I saw her making money from home and she was a hairdresser and she was able to kind of sub substitute that income. And we were really going through it. My husband and I were fighting all the time about money. I went to school for pharmacy. I was working a decent job at a research center. Um, but with the great job came no hours with my kids. So I was out the door by 5 a.m. I'd pick them up from daycare around 5 p.m. And they just didn't get the good best side of me. You know, my coworkers did, but by the time I picked them up, I was a grumpy mess. Um, I, you know, was just rushing to get dinner on the table to get them into bed. And that was our life. And I just knew there had to be more. And so um, after watching her for about eight months, um, I was sitting at my office desk and I was like, okay, like what the heck? And literally God just put it on my heart to say yes that day. And I did, I jumped in. Um, I was not the person I am today. You guys, I was very broken, um, you know, had zero self-esteem and zero confidence and just really started at square one. And so it took me about six months to go Ruby and Ruby changed my life. You know, that $500 a month, that was daycare. That was, you know, the car insurance bill. It was just like so much. Um, and so I really kind of started to fall in love with the business because the business was giving us date nights, you know, it was giving us those things that we just needed and we could never do. And so finally, um, Christy was begging me to go to conference and I did, I was like, fine girls trip, get me out of Vegas. Let's go. And I showed up and you guys, my entire life changed that weekend. I heard Mike Patillo say something on stage and he just said, what would happen if your kids were kidnapped today and the only way that you could get them back is to hit your goals to go double to go triple you know what would you do and it just like hit me like a ton of bricks because I was like my kids are hostage like they are gone from me I don't see them and so it's that same concept of like what they are gone they're taken from me what am I willing to do to get them back and so I my highest check up to that point was $312. Um, but my team buckled down and I just came back with huge vision and nobody came to conference with me, you know, but I was sharing that experience with my team and we were just so excited and fired up and I went diamond. And I, you know, at that point, I didn't really fully trust the comp plan because I didn't understand it. I'm like, they say I'm going to make $500 a month, but I'm not on my Ruby checks and I'm working really hard. So like, I didn't really understand like, $500 with fast start bonuses and all the extra, you know? And so then when they were like, yeah, go diamond, you could make a couple thousand. I'm like, I was expecting like a thousand, like I would have been so excited for that. But my first diamond check, check you guys was like three grand. And so I looked at my husband, that was the most I had ever made on a single check. And I looked at my husband and I was like, okay, like, I think it's real. Like, I really actually think it's real. I'm like, what if I go double? will you let me quit my job? And he was like, I mean, it's kind of crazy, but sure. And I was like, okay. So we ran like heck that next 30 days and we went double. And so we claimed 54,000 in bonuses. Um, and you guys, we were making around $7,000 a month and it literally changed our lives. And I was just so excited, um, to be changing other people's lives in the process. And, 
Um, you know, little did I know that running that fast in such a short time, I lost some of my team and it was because I wasn't quite a leader yet. I didn't know what I was doing. I didn't know what it took to have longevity in the business. And, you know, back six years ago, the way we worked our business, especially on my team, and it's so crazy to even think about now, but I was like, okay, we post every hour on the hour. Like we post 10 times a day, all day long. Like that was literally what we did because we didn't have stories. We didn't have, you know, reels. We didn't have all these extra things. And so it became a lot, you know, and people that were working full-time jobs fell apart and my team was crumbling and I never lost diamond, but I did lose my double. And by the end of that year, I really was questioning myself. Like, why did I come home? Like, what am I doing here? And, um, I just remember literally getting on my knees one night and praying like, God, give me a sign that I'm in the right place at the right time, doing the right things. And, um, that was when Mark had launched the $10,000 drawing and you had to sign a customer and a distributor to get an entry. And I only got two entries, you know, and 200,000 people were, were in that. And I was drawn, you guys, as a winner. And again, like it was literally the night before that drawing, I, I got on Facebook and I was like, tomorrow I'm winning 10,000. Like I'm claiming it. Like I totally claimed it. And then it happened. And it was just like, literally God telling me you are in the right place at the right time. Your people are coming, stay patient. And so I stayed faithful and, you know, like, again, I've been in this business six years. It took me a long time to find leaders. Okay. I've been my own leader for several years until I found people that wanted to work as hard as me, you know, and eventually I found that. And now our team's on fire. Like our team is headed to the top 10 in the company because we have our leadership. We have our tribe. We have, you know, people that have sacrificed like I have to get to where they are now. Um, and so, like I said, we're six years in. My husband, he's home full time with me. Last year, um, we went presidential diamond. We retired him. I actually lost my sister due to COVID, um, was able to grieve that, and then almost lost my husband literally three days after I had my fourth son. Um, and so, again, like life really hit us last year. Um, we decided at the end of the year, we're like, we're just going to be crazy. We're going to go on a trip to Florida. Like after everything that's happened this year, like I just need to get away. I was really on the edge of just losing it. And we went out there. We had a great five days. You guys are going to, you're going to die. And then we got caught in a hurricane. Like that was literally my 2020. Like we were caught in a hurricane for literally 10 days in Pensacola, stuck in a hotel, peeing in bags. Like that was our life. And I have, I have four kids. Okay. So it was like the crappiest year ever. And yet we still made it through. We were making more income than ever before. But again, you guys, like we were going through it. And so I want to talk to the people right now that are going through it. Like it's okay to have life hit you, but the business has to stay a priority. It just has to on those days that I felt like crap, that I was going through it, that we were stuck in a hurricane. You best believe I was live talking about it. Right because people want to hear, they want to relate. Our lives are not always perfect. Yes. Social media is a highlight reel, right? But you still have to be real and you have to say, yeah, I struggle with this. I'm going through this. The second that you find your people that are going through the same exact things as you, that's when the magic happens. Right. And I think it really took me too long to find out that you really have to be vulnerable and be yourself. You can't be a Courtney and be successful on Courtney's team, right? You have to be Samantha, you have to be Brandy, like you have to be you, you know? And so when I decided to just go in with who I was confidently and not care about what other people thought, right? Again, that's a huge thing that holds you back from working your business like you should, because you care about what your friends, your family, your parents think about you, right? I haven't had support. I literally went ambassador, you guys, and nobody in my family called me. Like no one said congratulations, nobody cared. Like, and, and that was probably the biggest achievement that I've had in my adult life, you know? But again, you have to do it for you. You can't let your happiness, your success, you know, be dictated off other people's reactions. So um, I just, I don't know, I, I think I covered pretty much my story and I wanna make sure that I have plenty of time for questions. So Courtney? Oh my gosh, I love that. I love that you said um, what, what Mike, Patel, Mike Patello said to you, because I was at that conference, but the thing is at that conference, I was 21 and I didn't have kids and I didn't have a boyfriend. And I was just like, that makes no sense. And now I'm pregnant and I'm like, 
wait a minute, that like hits me in a whole different way. So I want, for those of you that don't have kids, if you hear that and you're like, okay, cool. Imagine if like your dog got kidnapped and they told you you had to go diamond to get your dog back. Okay. Like figure out something that pulls you because you said that. And I'm like, okay, that changes everything. So I want you to talk about, you've obviously had plenty of promotions. You just went ambassador. So what do you do to prep not only yourself, but like your leadership and your team for like promotion month and to keep that excitement going? So promotion month, you guys has to be planned. Like, yeah, you can make the choice to be like, yeah, I'm going ambassador this month, but without planning, it's probably not going to happen. And that's the truth, right? So we actually made the choice to go ambassador in November of 2020. We were sitting in Sedona, Arizona at my leadership retreat. And we all actually said our ambassador speeches. Um, so we had everyone write down exactly what we would say on stage when we went ambassador. And my team and I cried and we made a commitment that we would go ambassador by March 30th, which was my 30th birthday um, of 2021. And so again, the plan was made, it was solid and the energy was starting to start there, right? And so what happens is, is you have to plan and that's with charting, right? And so for me, when I went ambassador and it's the same thing, like same concept with your, your Ruby chart or your diamond or whatever, right? Um, you go all the way deep down, okay? So for me, I knew if I was helping someone go diamond, right? And I knew they were part of my chart. I would go right down to that Ruby spot. And I would say, hey, Aaron, you're going Ruby this month. I'm super excited about it. How are you feeling? We'd powwow about it. If she was all in ready to go, great. If not, again, we might want to reroute or we might want to make a plan here anyways, depending on volume, right? But regardless, as we're sitting here at this Ruby spot, we say to her, Erin, there's three boxes under you that need to be filled for Ruby, okay? This box is 200 away. This box is 400 away. This box is empty, okay? So if you fill this box with the distributor and you fast start them, I will fill this box. Do you see how that goes? So that's kind of my way that I help people promote because something magical kind of happens when you eliminate a box on a chart and you're like, oh, so you're going to help me do that if I feel that. And again, it's kind of just that belief, like you're willing to meet me halfway and willing to help me. And just that belief activates something enough that nine times out of 10, I crap you not, they come back and they're like, oh, that box is filled. I'm ready for what do I do next? And then I don't even have to end up filling the box. It's really just that like commitment to them that, you know what, if you do your part, I'm going to do my part to help you get there too. I love that. That's so, I try to do the same things with my team. Like, okay, here's what we need to do. And I think so many times when people look at promotions, they get so overwhelmed by all the different things that are happening. When really, if you just focus on your people and you help them believe in themselves, a lot of things can happen really, really quick. So I want to know, obviously you probably have had felt like found yourself in a rut or like felt stuck at a rank, or you've worked, helped people work through that. What are tips for people that kind of feel that right now? So I'm going to tell you, I, again, I went double diamond, we lost it. And then that next year I got double back and we went triple for one month, <laughs> one month, you guys. Um, and so I was VIP, I was triple and I, you know, had all these extras that all of a sudden I, I didn't have before, but it actually really messed with me a hundred percent, totally messed with me. And the reason being is I didn't feel like I deserved triple. Okay. And let me explain that. Um, the, I felt like when I went triple, right, it would be there forever. That's kind of our like la la land of fantasy before we actually get into the business and know how it is. Right. Um, but it's really just setting yourself up to know what's going to happen. So after six years in the business, I can promise you that you will have months you fall guarantee it. It was actually a dinner that I had with a huge top leader in, you know, it works that if I said their name, you'd know exactly who it was. Right. And they had said to me, they said, yeah, the month we went ambassador, we kept it for four months. And everyone around me was so proud of that. They were so excited. And I was like, you kept it for four months. Like if I go ambassador, I want to keep it forever. Right. And that's the longevity of it. But that's, that's the thing guys, it's not always going to be woo. Okay. And so if you feel like you're stuck, you're not stuck. You're ready to rebuild. You're ready to move forward. Okay. Um, stuck to me also feels like you're holding on to people that don't want it. <laughs> you're holding on to team members that are telling you they want it and they're not. 
Okay. Um, when you do that, you're stuck. When you create action and you create a new plan without the people that are holding you back, all of a sudden those chains come off and you're actually able to focus on the business and focus on your goals and focus on creating new. And I can tell you that I had a completely dead team. Everybody was dead. And all it took was for me to sign one runner. And you guys might know her, Ashley Mestis. I signed her and we powered up together, guys. And I don't know how many years ago, three years ago. And she was really that turning point on my team because people saw that she was also being successful, not just me. Okay. Cause you can be the own success show for how long, but you also have to help other people be successful or people don't want to join you. And so, you know, I poured everything into her and you have to find that person that you're willing to do that with, because it's the truth. The business is not just one person. And so it was her at first, you know, and then she was able to rise up into her leadership. And after helping her go diamond, she's now presidential and she did that herself, you know? And so it's really just finding those people that want to work as hard as you knowing the fall will happen. Don't, don't brace for it because then you're almost projecting that it's going to, right? You always want to project in your head growth. Okay. But if it falls, it's not you. Maybe you could do something better. Maybe at the end of the day, you could have been a better leader. Maybe you didn't message your newbies enough. Maybe you didn't get on Zooms. Maybe you didn't show up. There's a thousand things that, you know, could be why you are where you are. But here's the reason. There's one reason you're here. Okay. That's the only thing I want you to focus on is that you're here right now and that you want more and you're willing to work for it because you wouldn't be sitting here on a Thursday night if you weren't willing to at least listen to somebody that's where you want to be right? So biggest thing, be okay with sacrifice. If you are stuck, get out. You are not a tree. You are not stuck. You don't have roots. Get out of your hole. You can. Yeah. I love that. So I was talking to a different top leader yesterday and I was like, gosh, I just feel like people are like stuck. And they were like, y'all aren't trees. Get up and move. And I'm like, all right. I mean, that's accurate. <laughs> okay. So do you have it? There's, I have two questions left and then I promise I'll let you go. One, is there any specific book, podcast, anything that's like stuck out in your mind that you're like, these are some of my favorite, favorite personal development things? Yes. So number one, um, any promoting month period, hands down, the only thing I listen to is 10X. Um, so it's the 10X rule. Um, I get it on audible and I just put it in my ears and literally all day long. That's all I listen to. Um, and it's just, I don't, have you read it, Courtney? Yeah. So it's just a lot. Like I'm, I'm a red personality, which is, you know, I'm money driven. And, um, so for me, like I need permission to work hard sometimes. Cause I already know I work really hard, but you need that permission of like, okay, it's okay to make sacrifices to get what you want, you know? And so the 10 X is like, the biggest pump up. It's like having like your hype man in your ear 24 seven. And they're like, you can do this. You got this. Pull your head out your ass. Sorry, my French, but it's, it's literally how it is, you know, and, and he's screaming at you and telling you to, to man up. Cause you know, we're a bunch of amazing women. Okay. And you have so much potential, but it's up to you to unlock that. You know, Courtney's here giving you the most amazing tools. Like Hey, she literally, she's never met me. Not that I remember, but we've never met. And so again, like she went out of her way to message me to get you guys help and training and you not even help, but training and inspiration and motivation, right? She's here because she wants you guys to be successful. And I know sometimes that when you're looking up at your leader, right? Um, and I've had conversations with girls on my team that have felt this way. You, you almost feel like, I'm working so hard and she's the one successful, right? She's the one making all the money. Okay. But the way that the comp plan works guys is, and I, I hate to pop the bubble here, but every single one of you dollars to the table for Courtney. Okay. And that's really how it is when you're rising into the rank, she's the one that builds her check. Okay. And so again, she's here sacrificing for you, for you guys, for you to rise, for you to promote. You know, and so when you step up and you're like, yeah, I'm ready to do this, not just for me, but for her, because guess what? There have been plenty of people on my team that it wasn't their time to necessarily promote and not by time. It just means that they're not like fully ready and in. But when I sit down and I'm like, you know what, girl, like, I really want this right now. And I know we can do it. Things change. 
you know? Um, so have those hard conversations. If it's, you know, with your downline or your upline, say you're ready and then show the action because words are just words. <laughs> Yeah, it's so true. You have to have the action behind the words because we can say a million things. And I was actually, I did a leadership Zoom with a couple people yesterday and I said, you guys, we have to start like walking the walk. Like we keep saying, we're going to do this, we're going to do that, we're going to do this. And then like a week in the month, we're like, oh, but it's not happening. And then we die. So oh, hold on, time out. That was yeah. actually huge. Um, that was something that I heard back in November that like literally changed my leadership was that we'd set huge goals, right? This month, we're going to go ambassador. And we actually tried to go ambassador of May of 2020 and it didn't work. We were like 80, like 75,000 short. Um, but we were charted and we had everyone ready to do it. And um, we fell short. And so again, all the rest of the year, we're like, we're going ambassador, we're doing it. But Courtney said magic, okay? And this is it. What happened was as the leader, we'd get about, to the 15th of the month and I'd run reports or I'd project volumes, right? And I'd be like, well, it's definitely not happening this month. And so I'd change the goal, right? And I'd be like, okay, so this month guys, we're bringing in 50,000 in volume or 20,000 or whatever the goal is. It changed visibly from the first live of the month, which is we're going to ambassador you guys to, okay guys, let's push up. Like, like let's get 50 booms, let's go, right? And so the difference between those months when you're just pushing or you're promoting is that it, the goal doesn't change. The action changes, right? And so you might project volume and you're not close and you're like, is so scared, right? But the beauty happens when the faith is so strong that you don't know how it's going to happen. We can sit and talk about how we, you know, buddy up and promote and work with people, but really it's the faith. Is your faith big enough? Ashley Mestis, my presidential, was planning to go presidential the month after my ambassador because Evelyn, another girl on my team, was already going presidential. And really, A, I think she got in her own head about it, um, but B, she was moving. And so she thought, well, I'm moving this month and I just don't think I have the time, right? So she's moving out of state. I sit down with her with coffee and I, I look at her in the eyes and I'm like, dude, you're Ashley Mestis. Like, who are you? You weren't promoting next month you're promoting this month, like stop, like move out of your own way. That was on the 19th of the month. Okay. When numbers finished, she was 70,000. She needed a hundred. They brought in 30,000, you guys, 30,000 in fresh new volume, actually more. Cause they ended at like 106,000. So 36,000 volume from the 25th to the 30th. Like that was insane. 31st, right. It was a long month. That was insane. And they made it happen. And it wasn't anything more than God-sized faith. It was the dedication. It was, I'm not changing the goal. And then it's, we're doing it. Yeah. I love that. I love that you said like the goal doesn't need to change. The action does. I love that. Okay. So this exactly led into my last question for you was so many people right now are like at that point where they're like, I think I can promote, but also it's like a little farther than I thought it would be. So first, are there any stories, obviously you just had one of Ashley of like just crazy mountains being moved at the end of the month and then any last minute tips for like making the end, like finishing the month strong? So honestly, every promotion guys has been God. Like God's BV comes out of every corner. Again, if your faith is big enough, you will make it happen. You just have to commit and say, God, I'm sorry, but this is my time. I know it's all in your time, but I'm trusting that I've worked hard enough for you to allow me to have this win now. And when you say it like that, doesn't it feel right? You're like, yeah, I do. I deserve this win, right? Pump yourself up. You deserve it. Um, and ultimately you guys, I have seen miracles happen. Not only on my team, but you know, the month we went double on my husband's account, we were so far away. We were like 3000 away on the 25th, um, which Again, now as an ambassador, it seems so small, but even when you're Ruby and you're going Ruby and you're a thousand away, that's scary. Like that thousand away is literally the same as the 3000 is double or the 50,000 is ambassador, right? It's that same anxiety. Um, but again, I had this girl off Instagram messaging me and I sold a triple threat and I was so excited. And she was like, okay, well, I actually need three more. And I was like, what? And she was like, yeah, I'm getting one for all my daughters for Mother's Day too. 
And I was like, oh, oh, okay. And that was literally like 600 BV, you guys. Like it was literally like the most insane order that I'd ever had. Like compliance actually flagged it and was like, this is fraud on the credit card because it was such like a huge order and she had to like verify it. Um, but again, that was like such a huge key piece in all the promotions. Um, and same thing, even with ambassador, like you guys, we finished the month, um, or no, it was the 28th. We were already at 250,000. So we were, we almost broke 300. We were at like 291,000. So we grew last month, 111,000 as a team. Um, and again, if that doesn't show you like mountains can be moved, they can be moved. And just to kind of compare, um, February, our team only brought in 20,000 in new volume. My mindset was messed up. You guys, um, January, we had a huge event here in, in Vegas for conference. And it was like the last thing that I had been really working on. Cause I'm a planner, like our, we had our retreats and then we had all just these things. And again, 2020 for me was such a hard year. And so, um, I don't, I think the business was kind of like a way out of the pain, you know? And so February 1st hit and that's my sister's birthday. And I just like, I literally felt like I was grieving her death like that day. And I just, it, it was like a month thing and I had never felt anything like that. And I was literally feeling like I was losing myself. And I just reached out to my girls and I, and you know, it, you know how it is when you have, when you are right, your team ain't right. It's literally a trickle effect. You can't slow down. The second you have a little tiny bit of a mental mindset, like your team follows suit, especially in, you know, a ruby and emerald, a diamond spot. And it doesn't stop. It always is that way. Okay. And so um, I looked at the numbers and I was so disappointed because again, we had the lowest growing month that we had ever had um, in a February month. Because again, these, these paychecks right now hold you the end of the month the work or the end of the year, all these customers you're signing right now, the distributors you're bringing in, this is your Christmas money. This is literally like your bread and your butter, your residual income. That's going to take you through the end of the year. And so I looked at that and I was like, pull your shit together. Like it is now or never. And I just went live and I, I told my team what, what I was going through and, you know, they've always been so receptive to know that I'm, I'm human. You know, I'm 30 years old. I've been a mom since I'm 20. Like I've, I'm human. I have a really hard childhood and past that I have stress, anxieties, post, like just so many things. Right. And something that's really been amazing is me being able to open up to my team and them loving me anyways. Right. And that's really what you have here in this unit is be open with your team. Say I'm struggling, I'm going through it, but I am willing to move out of my way. And so I did, I moved out of my way and I had a conversation with, with my husband and I said, I'm sick of saying that I want this and not doing enough because I knew it was me. I knew that I could do more. And I, I work hella hard, you guys. I am like a working, I, there's never a day that I'm not working, right? But I know to go ambassador, it's a whole nother level of work, right? And so what I did in my head is I sat here and I just imagined it works literally, this is a crazy thing that I did, but I imagine it works videotaping me working. And I was like, how would they want their ambassador to show somebody else how to work this business? And so sleep went out the window, you know, time with my kids bye. like, I'm sorry, but if I have to sacrifice 31 days of, you know, good, genuine time with my kids to have a huge, you know, promotion and bonus and whatever it is, like I'm going to. And so, yeah, by the end of the month, my son, like the house was a mess. I was losing it. And I looked at my kids and I was like, video games are not the only priority around here. And my son looked at me and he was like, kind of like your business. <laughs> and you know, the old me, I would have just cried and I would have just given up on the promotion. And I would have been so in my own head about it. And you know, the confident me that knows that this is the business that's changed our lives. Like my kids don't even remember me working. They don't even remember me having another job, but it works. Like I went ambassador, I got home and hugged my son and he said, okay, when are we going black diamond? <laughs> I'm like, oh my gosh, I can't like, can I just enjoy this moment for like five seconds? Um, but you guys, you can do anything with the biggest faith, a lot of prayer and a lot of action. So if you want a tip, um, the only app that I use is the coffee app. I don't go back and forth. 
Why? Because I think if you find something that works, why change it? Um, and so for me, I only use the coffee host to post. That's it. Um, and then haps, haps of haps. You guys know what haps of haps are, right? Um, last month, I signed 9,700 volume myself using haps. Um, and I had the biggest month that I've ever had. And I literally built a triple diamond um, from 10,000 to over 40,000 in volume, you guys. And so um, if you want to make it happen, you'll find a way to make it happen. And that triple diamond, she got COVID on the first and she was out for 18 days. She has kids. They all got COVID. Her dad got COVID. She was literally dying. And you know what I did? I was like, send me your e-suite password. We're making this happen. And I worked like I was her and I, I managed the team and I, I picked up the pieces. And by the 18th of the month, when she was back, guess what happened? Magic. She brought in 50 customers herself. She brought in volume. And then it was like, bam, but guess what? The day she got COVID, I could have thrown in the towel and been like, okay, well, this ain't happening. By day six, when she hadn't enrolled anything, you think I wanted to cuss her out? Heck yeah, I did. I'm gonna be like, this is the month we're going triple. Where are you? Right. Cause that would, that's my mentality. Like, but no, I was just trusting God and trusting the plan and just doing the work. Oh my gosh. I love that. Thank you so much for hanging out with us tonight, for sharing your wisdom, for giving so much goodness and just pouring so much belief into us. And I just so appreciate you. And I am so excited to see you go black diamond. Like your son said, you don't have a ton of time to enjoy ambassador because now you have your next goal. So I hope Heck you guys yeah, girl. Thank you, Courtney. I can't wait to meet you in person. Of, of course. See you guys next time. Bye. Bye.